Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Sister Wise haven't seen the Browns on TLC in almost a year. Sister Wives had a really interesting season prior to this one. Cody lost not one, but two of his wife. Now, the only person by his side is Robin. Supporters were ecstatic that Christine, Mary, and Janelle chose to pursue their own happiness than tolerating an unjust marriage. However, when the family discord developed, things did take a serious turn. You know, one cannot just walk out of a multiple marriage. Following this, fans have often wondered what became of Coyote Pass. Now, who owns the most land? The Browns plan to develop there, when? Who will own the most land in Coyote Pass by 2024 among sister wives? In 2018, Cody relocated to Flagstaff with his three wives. They had previously resided in Utah, then relocated to Las Vegas, and finally arrived in Arizona. They made the decision to settle there. The Browns had a tremendous goal of living close to one another. In the hopes of starting over, they thus purchased acreage in the Coyote Pass area. However, Christine, Janelle, and Mary all divorced Cody before they could carry out their plot. Since the majority of the polygamists' wives left, viewers are now interested in learning what the family has done with the land. Fans of Sister Wives talked about this on Reddit. Some said that following Christine's departure, the narrative divide has remained unchanged. In order to retain the proceeds from the sale of her Arizona house, the third wife had sold her land back to Cody for a meager $10. As a result, Robin and Janelle owned four acres, while Cody, Mary, and Christine each owned two. Christine sold her land to her former partner after moving away. This indicates that, with Christine absent, Cody, Robin, and Janelle together control four acres. However, there has been no discussion on when the Sister Wives cast members plan to move into the area. Only Christine made the decision to sell her land. Mary, Janelle, and Christine all left the polygamist arrangement. Regarding the latter two ex-Sister Wives, they still own a portion of the land in Coyote Pass and have no intention of selling it. The prior season likewise centered on Janelle's desire to construct there, but none of the family members expressed interest in doing so. Thus, as of 2024, the whole Brown family plot remains undeveloped. Sibling wives. Did Cody lie? Not allowed to build on Coyote Pass for residential use. Cody Brown last shared an update regarding Coyote Pass a long time ago. But although he hasn't disclosed his plans, Sister Wives supporters believe he will eventually sell the show. Viewers saw him design the dwelling arrangements on the lot for several seasons. However, he never carried out his scheme. Fans now have grounds to think that Cody missled them. Reports state that certain Coyote Pass documents states that no member of the Brown family may construct anything on the property for residential purposes. Alternatively, the location may be utilized for commercial and investment purposes. Cody had to have been aware of this before deciding to purchase the land, surely. Is that why he continued to snooze over the building plan there? As of right now, none of the Brown family members have responded to the reality of Coyote Pass's escape. A new season will be required before fans can the learn how they have been handled. Sister Wise features Robin Brown receiving the best Christmas present possible. A Yuletide observed apart from Mary, Christine, and Janelle amid the turmoil among the family. And it's both a ho-ho-ho and a no-no-no. This year's holiday cheer appears to be lacking in the Brown household. With Christine gone from the family, Cody and Janelle's relationship failing, and Mary having to celebrate the holidays alone, there will be no reunion this Yuletide. The formerly cohesive household has devolved into a patchwork of tense grins and solitary celebrations. In November 2021, Christine and Cody made their separation official. The couple's ardent attempts to repair their deteriorating relationship through therapy sessions were chronicled for several years on the show, so the breakup wasn't unexpected. There are many more cracks in the family than only the one that separates Cody from his past wife. 
there is still a great deal of distance between Cody and several of his 18 children, which keeps the family feeling disconnected. Robin Brown claims that in the Sister Wives episode airing on September 10, Cody spoils Robin's kids by giving them a crazy surprise. Merry Christmas, screams Cody, who is utterly thrilled. We're going to start opening the kids' stockings now that they're awake, the mother said to the cameras. At Robin's, a tree is adorned with an abundance of gifts on Christmas morning, the most notable being the motorized motorcycles that are given to each youngster. While Robin watches the festive commotion from her perch on the sofa, a figure of calm amid the sea of exuberant energy, the young ones can't contain their joy and explode into cheers. Robin comments, I think they're dangerous. After Cody gives her kids motorized bikes, I'm wondering whether Cody is attempting to make up for the fact that his family isn't all together by giving the kids these bikes instead of putting more emphasis on it. Look, he exclaims, have a look at this really awesome item over here. Make up for what we're genuinely lacking in this situation. Cody made the decision to forego his duty as the father figure for his other children for the holidays, drawing the line in the snowy Christmas landscape. In the meantime, Janelle welcomed the spirit of unity in her own unique manner by finding her family a comfortable Airbnb in Flagstaff. Amidst the complex web of shifting family dynamics, there is a determined attempt to preserve joy and strengthen bonds despite the broken home environment. When asked about the decision to observe the holidays apart, Janelle said openly, I feel overwhelming relief, but there is a little bit of sadness that Cody is not showing up for his kids not Savannah. She does, however, admit to feeling wistful because this year's festivities paled in comparison to their colorful previous get-togethers. Back then, the home was filled with the laughter of the multiple family, which included Christine and Mary Brown. These individuals are no longer there and are only remembered as part of the gallery of Christmas memories as Cody's former wives. She then on, I've celebrated Christmas with my family for the last 30 years. I long for the grand Christmas. It was enjoyable. However, this is pleasant to feel. It feels calm here. This makes me happy. Click the play button below to get a preview of Sunday's program. This year's holiday cheer appears to be lacking in the Brown household. With Christine gone from the family, Cody and Janelle's relationship failing, and Mary having to celebrate the holidays alone, there will be no reunion this Yuletide. The formerly cohesive household has devolved into a patchwork of tense grins and solitary celebrations. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.